What's up, Mercs? It's Joe here with some more Skyrim. Last time we came back to Somerset Isle, and today we're delivering the sigil, so let's get a move on. Now, as you can see, I've already traveled to Drussel's Grotto, so we're right here. Let's get in, let's deliver it, and then let's go ahead and reflect on the quests that we currently have, and uh, maybe do one. Maybe we're gonna go and take CeeLo to her family, or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out soon. Hello, Mr. Dramora. I found your sigil stone. You have I'm not immortal. Grotty, you too. I'm not immortal. Did I get something? What? What? Dude. What? Really? You didn't... He didn't... He didn't give me anything. You didn't... Hey. <sighs> Alright, dude. I'm sorry, but you are a Dramora, and therefore evil. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Wow, you are a tough fucking Dramora, too. Holy shit! You're so strong! I'm sorry! I'm so sorry! Oh my god, I should've used Incinerate right away. I didn't realize he was gonna be this powerful. I got Incinerate out right now. Oh my god, okay. Well, that was... interesting. Next time, let's use Double Incinerate, and you might be like, well, he's an innocent. Why are you killing an innocent? No, he's a Dramora. He's evil. He must be dealt with even though he's not actively trying to kill us. So let's go ahead and just incinerate him. Wow, that really didn't do much damage at all, did it? God. Wow, he is so fucking tough. Beating him would be quite the accomplishment, but I don't even know if we can do it. Let's go ahead and Divine Blessing. There we go. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Wow, that was through my Divine Blessing that I just took all that damage. That is in fucking sane! Okay, yeah. There's no way. Unfortunately, this Dramora has, we'll say, earned the right to live when really we're just too weak to face him. Maybe another time we'll return and defeat him. Here's your Sigil Stone. Take it, and would you kindly just stay in this mine and don't come outside? Because, you know, you kind of still are a little bit evil. I just don't... Please, please don't kill people. I, I really... That's all I can say. You're stronger than me, so... Don't hurt me, and preferably don't hurt other people, too. So, yeah, thanks. Hope he abides by my request. Anyway, we have to do a few things here. We can go back to Andratha. Mm, the Gemstone Cave is still a thing we have to go back to, unfortunately. We can also go back to the Hidden Cave, because I believe we're strong enough... To take on the evil Tolfdir now. Uh, where is it anyway? I think it's all the way up here, isn't it? Um. Wait, do we not have a dis- Oh, there it is. Okay, that's what I thought. Alright, so. What we're gonna do is teleport back. What is this place anyway? Somerset- Eleanor, okay. We're gonna teleport back to the Mages Guild. Let's just do that right now. Teleport Somerset. And then we're going to request to teleport to Eleanor. Then we're going to speak with Andratha. And then maybe we'll teleport somewhere like Lelandril, which is a little bit close to the Hidden Cave. Now, I'm still really nervous going into this, but I think we can take him. We might have to leave again, but I think we can do it. Maybe. Hopefully. So, Eleanor, please. Thank you very much. I I'm hoping. I believe in myself. But I did believe in myself last time. Okay, no, I didn't. I was, I was hopeless last time. But this time I have hope. Right? That... That'll make us survive, right? It, uh, hope always works. I mean, come on. Don't you read the stories? The stories in the many, many books? Hope always makes the hero win. You know? Because books are totally real life, right? Sure. We'll go with that. Well, we're gonna try our best, and if we are defeated again, that's okay. We'll just wind back time, because we have that power. Because we are no mere mortal. We are. Well, yes, we are. I, I was about I was about to say, did I just use the wrong No. We are Ralamus and Dala. And yes, are, because I'm talking about Ralamus and me as his consciousness. So you know what? Yeah. I made it work. Anyway, let's what the fuck? Oh yeah, I forgot I can do that. Um 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 Okay, actually I I, I okay. So, I just did a somersault, and I don't know how I did that. Uh, okay. 
I, I guess I tripped. We'll go with that. Yes. I tripped coming on in here. I've, I've never... Okay. Sure. Yeah. I thought that was an ability. I don't know. Whatever. Let's just head upstairs. Speak with Andratha. Tell her that we've spoken with the guard, which really didn't provide us with anything. He was just kind of like, oh. Okay. And, uh, yeah, we didn't really get any information, and uh, he didn't give us any inf or Well, you didn't give him any information except for talking to him, so we'll see. I've spoken with the guard in Lelendril. I know. Be good to get out of the sun. Anything else you'd like me to do? What does this do? Yes, Traveler. Your visit to me is not unexpected. Your preparation may be. Time will tell. You were expecting me? I think of this is supposed course. to be the beginning. Uh, anything else you'd like me to do? Speak with the barmaid, Norna, in the lounge. In the lounge? Where's the lounge? Above Alinor. You're really cocky. I'm sorry, but you just, you just seem very cocky. I don't know. So, lounge. Let's see. Let's go ahead and mark that quest. And that would be... Oh, not too far away. Okay. She did say next to Alinor, but I, I don't know. Maybe it was a lot farther. Maybe next to Alinor means, like... North across half the island. You know, she just said above Eleanor. She could have meant above on the map. Although I think she means above is an altitude because I think it's on a hill above Eleanor. Anyway, I think our weight's good. I don't think we... Oh, never mind. I was about to say, I, I saw E's bird about to run out and I thought maybe, maybe we were at a good weight and we didn't have to cast it again. I was wrong, as you can see. But it's okay because we actually still have E's bird. Uh, it's not like we're going to lose it. So that's kind of weird for me to say. But you know what? Fuck me. Anyway. Let me go ahead and get my... Lo oh, I already had long stride. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Apparently I am a mere mortal. What the fuck is going on in the distance? What the fuck? I'm gonna go ahead and record in the journal just in case. Uh, because I would like to reiterate... What the fuck, man? What's going on? <laughs> it seems distance is having a little bit of trouble. That's okay, though. Once we get close to it, I'm sure it will... Hopefully even up here. Yes, okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Alright, so is it within the... Oh, above Eleanor literally means... Oh, how the fuck do we get up there? I do hope you know what you're doing with those flames. I will burn... Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I do. Don't worry. You won't die. Alright, let's try and find a way up there. So... Yeah. I don't really understand. Oh, never mind. It tells us. I was about to say, I don't understand how it works up there, like which one leads to what, but uh, apparently it tells us. So we don't have to worry about anything. Ah, I love when it all does it for me. It's great. Is this it? Ooh. Ugh. The fuck happened to the lounge? It has a growth. Ugh. Anyway, let's go ahead and look at this amazing view we've got here. Oh my god, this place looks so fucking good. I love just looking out at Somerset. It's just so refreshing to see this kind of not cold looking, we'll say, place. Although, what the fuck, man? Yeah, jump on that. I'm sure it'll hold. Oh my god, man. These growths. Anyway, let's go inside the lounge and let's speak with the barmaid about something with a witness. Because that's what the quest is called. And I'm guessing maybe she witnessed a murder or I don't know. Oh, why? Hello. Is there something I can do for you? Yes, actually. Mm -hmm. Hello, Norda? Yes. What can I do for you? I was told to speak with you. Go ahead. I don't know what we're supposed to be talking about, though. You really don't know? Nope. Surely you have something better to do. Sorry, guess I'll be going. It's been a pleasure. Oh. Um, nice couch. That was weird. Anyway, so it looks like we are here in the lounge, which hmm. looks less like, uh, oh my god. <laughs> what kind of lounge is this? Let me just look around here. This is interesting. I like the, uh, the little, you know, kind of steam tub down there, the hot room. These are all locked. Can I, I wonder if I can purchase a room in here. Oh, jeez. God, everything's locked. So, yeah, maybe I can purchase a room in here. Wow, look at this bed. Holy shit. And mud crabs metals up here too. And ooh. Uh, you know, I can't say no to a chest that's just all alone. Psh, Fifteen free septums? Fifteen's not a lot, but hey, when they're free, can you really complain? Spoiler alert, the answer to that question is no. Can I buy a room is here? Is there 
That's something Norna. I can Where do. is Are you? Yes. Oh, I can refill my water. Of course. And I would also like to see to the menu. Um, nothing I really need. I'll buy some salt piles just because. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. I guess it's a nice little lounge here that I can get some food and water. It's a nice place. I really like this, like I said, although I don't want to go in that too long because even though it appears to be a nice warm bath, as soon as I leave this place, I'm going to freeze to death from being in it. So yeah, let's avoid that. Thank you very much. Go ahead and eat an apple pie because I do love some apple pie. Apple pie tastes amazing. Although, I do have to say, I prefer pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie is quite good. Especially since it is the season for pumpkin pie. You want something from me? Since everything's fucking pumpkin right now. I'm like, seriously? Come on. Really? Really? Everything? Okay, anyway. Anyway, back to Androth we go. I don't know why she keeps making us speak with these... I mean, I, I guess they're not... I, I don't want to say random people, because to me they're random, to her they're not. So, they're not random. At, at least I don't think. Maybe she has a random number generator with a list of names or some bullshit. But, but... I, I don't know why she's making us talk to these people without any substance, you know? We don't know why we're talking to them, we don't know what it's for, we don't know what we're actually doing. So maybe it's gonna build up to something? I'm hoping for kind of a cool payoff. I don't know what it's going to be, or what it even could be, I, I don't know what to expect. But I am interested to see... Why are you... Oh, because I had my magic out. I am interested to see what she has to say about all this. Maybe we're... Oh my god, holy fucking shit, it got dark. Maybe we're assembling a team, and it's just like... The code word for them is, some, wa some random weird guy comes, speaks with you, doesn't know what he's talking about, and that's like the code word, that's like the signal. Hello. Uh, I've spoken with the barmaid, as you requested. Hmm. Any other tasks? Yes. There is a Khajiit named Majaldo in Old Falls. Go speak with him. And say fucking what? Why do I... <laughs> I don't understand. Old Falls is pretty far off, though. <sighs> Where you end and I begin. Wait, what is that called? Where I end and you begin. That's what it's called. So that's hair inside. So, it looks like the best course of action would definitely be to teleport back to Somerset and then teleport to a land drill over here. Yeah. It's probably the best course of action. That's probably the fastest course of action. So that's what we'll do. We'll head out of here. We'll teleport to Lilandril. Or rather, back to the Mage's Guild. Then to Lilandril. And then we'll head out. We'll have a party. Let's go ahead and get Featherlight ready. Go ahead and cast that. Just so I can easily get down these stairs without too much of a problem. I mean, you know, a few stub toes here and there. But are stub toes really that much of a problem? Yes, they are. Don't even... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't want to... I, I sorry, I don't want to undervalue the pain a stub toe gives. I, I apologize. I, I sincerely apologize. Because I understand. Stub toes are fucking terrible. Especially the small toe. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I apologize if I offended anyone with those comments. I'm sorry. Anyway, let us go to Lilandril. Farewell. Yeah, fuck you too. All right. That was okay. That was rude. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know what? No, it's not. I don't care. I'm not sorry. Yeah, I said it. What? Got a problem? I'm a good guy. I'm just a little bit rude. We'll we'll go with that. I'm just a little bit of a rude good guy. You know? I'm like, I, I want to do the right thing, but you know, maybe I'm a little bit rude. It's like, I, I don't know what what I'm trying to compare to, but it's like something. I don't know. That's a thing, right? Rude good guys. Sure. Let's go ahead and record in the journal and keep on moving. Let's also drink some water. Go ahead and ease our burden. Of course, accidentally cost... Cost? Really? Cost? Cast candlelight because it's forced to have it at this point. And I'm never going to have candlelight turned off for more than like three seconds. Unless I'm out of magicka. <sighs> Isn't it amazing when you build up habits like this? Also, I want to discover what's here. I'm guessing it's just the port, but it'd be really nice to have the marker. Nice ship here. Landril Docks. Docks. It's a nice ship. Also, there is something all the way out there. Looks like a statue right next to a tree. 
Maybe it's just a giant rock, but I can't tell. What I wouldn't give for that telescope right about now, am I right? Come on. Come on, teleport that telescope to me. Hmm. Definitely have to check that out sometime. In the future. Maybe not in the near future, but in the future. Nonetheless. Plus, it is next to the abandoned island, so really we are checking something out with some sort of substance. In fact, I could do it after Old Falls. Just go right from here and swim out there. Hmm... I could try it. As long as I don't freeze to death, I should be okay. And I doubt... In I mean, it's not a small distance, but in that minor distance, we'll say, that I would even freeze to death. Also, is this this is the guard barracks, right? Yeah, it's the guard barracks. I remember going in there. I'm just making sure. Because I saw a big building, and I couldn't remember properly if that was the guardhouse or, you know, the mall or so. I don't know. Maybe that'd been cool. Hello, Palmar! You know, these Palmar... Don't understand that I'm good. Pahamar are supposed to like me, but these Pahamar unfortunately don't like me, and they don't talk to me. They don't see me as very respectful. You know, the other Pahamar, they respect me. These guys are just douchebags. These guys aren't cool. The other Pahamar are cool. <laughs> They're my friends. And these guys are just mean. Oh shit, I'm gonna actually die here. Okay. Let's. Plentiful health. Ooh, I don't want to use ultimate magic yet, but I really, really, really need to. I can't move. I have no stamina. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to use ultimate magic so I can get... Oh my god! I got fucking wrecked! Son of a bitch. Wow, those Pahamar. When they gang up on you, even that was two. That was only two. They wrecked the shed, you mainly because they just... Your stamina? Gone. Granted, my stamina was already gone, because I don't have much stamina to begin with. And I was trying to run. Maybe I should point a point? Really? Put a few points into stamina, or get maybe a piece of armor that improves stamina? Although, I don't think that'd be worth it. Maybe there's, like, a, a spell that I can cast to improve stamina. Also, you know what I just fucking realized? I, I did take static skin off, right? I think I did. Never mind. Let me just... I did... Okay, this is off. Okay, good. I thought about this, like, ten episodes ago, didn't I? Or maybe fifteen. Yeah, I... Okay. Just making sure. Because I, I... I thought about it again right now. Now I remember... Yeah, I remember turning that off. But I don't know. Just in case. It's a good thing to check there. So right now we're out of stamina, as you can see. Just because we're bad with stamina. That's just... That's just how we are. We're... We're a sorcerer, man. Who needs stamina when you're a sorcerer? I get a nice shot here. Wow, that was uh, that was pretty shitty there, dude. That one wasn't as shitty, but it wasn't that good either. I'm trying to rely on the AOE damage, and unfortunately, I fucked up, and they're all coming for me. Holy shit, holy shit. Divine, divine, divine. I gotta help out CeeLo before it's too late. Alright, I need to divine one more time, and I should be able to take out the last two. Cast, cast, cast. Quick, 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 quick. Celo's down. Oh, not yet. Nice! And there we go. I think there is still one alive, though. Which is fine, because we can dual cast. Not yet. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Need more magicka. We got him. Boom! That's right, dude. I don't think so. Woo! Hold that one off nicely. If I do say so myself. Yeah, see, the problem is we use Long Stride as our sprint, uh, but it's not something to use in combat for two reasons. One, its effects are, like, cut in half, basically. I don't know if it's... What does it say? I can't remember how much it's cut in combat. 25 burn... No, wait. Oh, okay, so it's, it's actually cut... It's cut by one-third, basically. So, yeah. In combat, we move 25% faster with this, out of combat, we move 75% faster. So that's not terrible. 25% boost is not terrible. I don't think it's as much as sprint, but there's a reason why sprinting is better. This takes up a hand. That doesn't help me at all. I can't dual cast. I can't cast two different offensive spells. I can't heal with this out, at least. You know, it does take up some of my utility with one of my hands, which isn't good, and that's one of the main reasons why... It's not that great for combat, but maybe, I don't know, maybe if I stop using 
combos, or dual spells. Maybe I should make a combo spell that's Incinerate and Fireball, right? Well, maybe that wouldn't be good. What if I just did two Fireballs, though? Would that be considered dual casting? Or at least, would that have the power of a dual cast? I don't even know if that works. Like, it might not be as strong as a dual cast, but I'd gladly sacrifice, like, a little bit of damage to have an extra hand open. I wonder if I can do that. Like, double a combo spell with two different ones. Also, what is this? We just discovered a house. I didn't even look at it. But, like, two combo... Two spells to the same kind in one combo. You know? Like, a dual cast for one hand. I wonder if I can do that. I'll have to try it in the future. Huh. I don't even know if we can go in here. But anyway, guys. I think I'm going to end today's adventure here. Next time, we'll check this out. Which probably won't really amount to anything. But, hey. At least we can say we did it. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed it. Now, see you all next time. Goodbye.